If a war truly breaks out in the South China Sea between China and the United States, what would be the most formidable weapon the U.S. possesses as a threat to China? In a hypothetical scenario where a military confrontation occurs in the South China Sea, the geographical proximity of the South China Sea to mainland China could present strategic disadvantages for the U.S. fleet in terms of retreat options. Additionally, China's deployment of Dongfeng anti-ship missiles, along with the YJ-21 missiles on its aircraft carrier fleet, could potentially challenge the U.S. naval forces in the region. Should the U.S. fleet venture closer to China's mainland, China could use a large number of land-based anti-ship weapons and deploy a significant number of fighter jets to support combat operations. In the scope of the South China Sea, it is practically impossible for the U.S. fleet to gain an advantage, a reality brought about by geographical location, which doesn't warrant detailed explanation. The greatest threat to the fleet in the South China Sea actually comes from the U.S. Air Force, particularly its long-range bombers. America's long-range bombers are undoubtedly top-notch, equaled only by the former Soviet Union, and there is a generational gap when compared to other countries. China's H-6D, though cost-effective, seems somewhat inadequate when put up against America's B-2 and B-1B bombers. Assuming there's no eruption of nuclear war, Currently, China is completely incapable of threatening the U.S. mainland because China does not have its long-range bombers. However, the B-2 can easily cross the ocean to perform long-range strikes on China's southeastern coastline or even anywhere on its mainland. Suppose China were to engage in military action in the South China Sea. Inevitably, long-range rocket artillery and other weapons would be deployed along the coast. At that moment... These weapons would be most vulnerable to America's long-range bombers. After all, B-2s are still at the forefront of the world. Whether China have the ability to intercept highly stealthy aircraft remains an unknown at present. Of course, U.S. long-range bombers are not invincible. Besides, China's early warning aircraft technology is not lagging nowadays, so detecting American bombers ahead of time isn't necessarily impossible. However, the specifics of how to intercept and whether China can intercept accurately warrant contemplation. Aside from long-range bombers, what China needs to guard against the most is America's nuclear submarines, as well as the joint sea-air maneuvers carried out by submarines and bombers. Why do China still need to be wary of America's nuclear submarines, even when China's aircraft carrier fleet is right on its doorstep? In addition to long-range bombers, the nuclear submarines of America are exactly what China fears most. Submarines, as underwater assassins, usually have extremely high stealth capabilities. If a war really were to start, it is very likely that America would deploy a large number of nuclear submarines in the South China Sea and let the aircraft carrier fleet create opportunities for a fatal blow by nuclear submarines. If the fleet strength of the two countries is comparable, then the anti-submarine capabilities of both sides would directly determine the outcome of the battle. Therefore, developing anti-submarine forces and preventing enemy submarines from infiltrating is also a priority in sea defense. Currently, China's nuclear submarines are still somewhat behind those of America and Russia. It remains to be seen what the upcoming can achieve and how much it can narrow the gap. We are looking forward to it. Currently, nuclear submarines are capable of sustaining operations underwater for up to 90 days and have a range of 200,000 nautical miles. America could use the advantage of nuclear submarines off the southeast coast of China to conduct extensive mining and reconnaissance, tracking the movements of the China fleet. Therefore, once war really breaks out in the South China Sea, the nuclear submarines lurking in the shadows will become, aside from the long-range bombers, the greatest threat to the Chinese fleet. It is not only a threat to China aircraft carrier fleet, many nuclear submarines also possess the capability to strike against land targets, complementing long-range bombers. Submarines would attack air defense weapons, while bombers would target anti-submarine weapons, one reinforcing the other. Viewed without bias, 
The United States has been highly involved in the situation regarding Taiwan, a stance influenced by the strategic importance of the region. The possibility of a peaceful reunification of Taiwan with mainland China may shift power dynamics and affect overall stability in the South China Sea. As observers earnestly wishing for global harmony, it's hoped that China and the United States will navigate their disagreements peacefully. In such circumstances, it is the collective hope that all involved parties would pursue a path of peaceful negotiation and handle disputes with diplomacy and a commitment to resolution. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe now to never miss a video and let's learn together. See you again.